Hey guys, so today we have the Natasha Dona Yucca palette. So it has finally arrived and actually it got to me this weekend and I was so excited to play with it for you guys that um, it's Monday morning. First thing I did was jump into this palette and do an eye look, play with it, and we're gonna swatch it together. I'll live swatch it for you so you can see all the colors in action and I will compare it to a few other palettes. I am very excited. You guys know I love Natasha Denona and this is her newest launch. So it's 69 US dollars. It's available on Natasha Denona's website. Hey guys, I'm jumping in to let you know that I have an affiliate discount code with Natasha Denona. I know. So if you use CRB15, you can get 15% off and it qualifies for the Yucca palette. You can get it at 15% off. So Anyways, I wanted to include this in the video and you will see information down below if you want to follow those links. But anyways, so cool, right? I know. I'm going to have everything linked down below and everything I used on my face today will also be linked down below. But I am so excited to play with this. Like, I don't know. It just gets me so excited. So anytime Natasha comes out with a new palette, you know I have to grab it. I have my one year challenge where I am buying everything of Natasha Denona that she releases new. Like I've said in the past, I'm usually a lot more strict with this series. This year, I'm kind of giving myself the leeway to pass on some of the stuff because some of the things didn't really interest me this year, but this palette had me over the moon excited. It is a grungy, greenish inspired yucca palette. So I'm gonna start off with live swatching. I know you guys like to see what the colors look like and I like to live swatch them because I like to see what each one looks like too. <laughs> so you use them on your eyes but you kinda like wanna see what it looks like, you know? So anyways, let's start off with this one. I will be butchering every single one of these names. I don't know how to pronounce and I also don't know how to speak sometimes so bear with me with the first one that's called Planet Plantesia. Then there's Cala... <laughs> Should I even say the names? Calethia and Chromobi. These are the three. Gorgeous colors, terrible names. So here's the first one. Ooh, look at that. So that one actually has like a really cool shift to it. It actually looks a little peachy. Let me put a little bit more. So it's like a gold to a peach. I like that. That's really pretty. So the next one is a nice grungy green. It's actually pretty deep and it's a little bit more um, onto the, I guess, hunter greenish side. And I'm actually really excited about that. It looks deeper in the pan than it does when it swatches. And actually I've built it up a few times. So this is a very faint color and you have to like build it in order for it to get some more pigment. Um, I did notice that on some of the mattes in here. So then the next one here is this one, and this one has like a more champagne, but it also has like a green undertone to it. So it's like a champagne-y, greeny, greeny champagne -y. Very, very pretty. So first three colors, totally up my alley. They're very like, they're calm, you know, like they're not like so vibrant, but they're still within that green family, which I really, really wanted a palette like this. So then we have Asia, we have Kamu Kamu, and we have Tipu, Tip, Tipu. Those are the three. I'm knowing that this is probably some type of um, other language. Um, here is this one. So this one actually kind of looks like a nice grungy, not pukey, but like kind of like a grungy-ish green, very pretty. Then we've got our neon yellow which i love a good neon yellow especially for like inner corner work i usually wouldn't use this like on the lid but it looks really really cool for inner corner especially when you're doing something a little dramatic and then we have this one here that almost looks very close to this one like swatch they're almost they're almost the same color no look like almost looks like the same color one has just like a little bit more green than the other but like almost identical in color. Those two, I personally just think a little bit too close. I would have liked something a little further apart. I did notice something like that when I was doing my Make Up Your Mind that I almost grabbed the same color for one um, swatch and I added a little bit of another color to change it up. But yeah, I kind of noticed that. So I wish it would have been a different color. This is a gorgeous color. It's almost like a silver with a little bit of brown in it. Like that's so pretty. And it is like one of those metallics that like glide. Like it's like, ugh, like that. Okay, so then we have Valley, Citrin, and Ray. Three other very pretty colors, all within like that greenish family, which is so cool. 
So here's the first one. This one is a metallic, but it has less, like I feel like it's more of like a shimmery metallic. Then we have this one, which is citrine, which actually kind of looks like that. Like it has like that yellowy green, but it's not as vibrant as this one. So it's not like neon, but it's very, in my opinion, wearable. So then we go to this one, which is called Ray, which also has a gold, but it has like a greeny hint to it. So every single one of these metallics almost have like a little green shift, which I love. So that's what that looks like. I'm really, really liking the direction of this palette. Like, that's really pretty. Okay, so now we have Flax, which is like a dark, dark brown. Then we have Fushi. Fushi, ooh, this feels weird. That's like one of her creamy mattes. That's a creamy matte. And then Makaya. <gasps> Makia, 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 Makaya. I'm gonna call it Makaya, because I wanna call it Makaya. Okay, so then here's the brown. That's a really pretty deep brown. It's gonna take a few swatching because they're like dusty. It's like a dusty brown, right? So like, it's like a dusty shade. This one right here called Makia. This is a strange form. This is different. Like it's a creamy matte, but it's extremely creamy. Like very, very, very creamy. It's more creamy than this one here. This one that we first swatched, the green one. I almost felt like I had to build it up. This one had like a lot of pigment and it almost feels like a cream. Then we have this one, which is absolutely stunning, and I put on my lids today, and it's the one called Makaya. Ooh, that one is insanely beautiful. Then we've got two more shades, and they're both mattes, so it's this one and this one, and they look like just both like regular dusty mattes. So here is this one. It has a little bit more of like a burnt look to it, and then we have this green here, which is more like a strong bluish green, I would say strong bluish green, okay? So that is all the colors of the palette, so you guys can see, live swatched for you. I will do a zoom in so you guys can see the actual swatches under daylight, which helps you kind of see the tones a little bit better. I'll also show you guys the palette under daylight so you can kind of see the palette better, get an idea of what this is looking like. I'm really happy that I swatched them all on my arm right now because I really wanted to get an idea of the feeling of each one of these and also like the color tones because there's only so much I can do on my lids on a first impression. So now that I've swatched it, let me zoom you in. Let me show you guys how I did this and then I'll give you guys results and everything I'm thinking at the end. All right guys, it's here. Yuka! So Yuka palette has arrived. Actually, you know what? It came on Saturday, but I was in the Keys and I didn't know it was this that arrived. If I would have known, I think I would have, probably would have run home. Well, I'm lying. I wouldn't have run home, but I would have been really excited to see it. I actually picked it up today. And I was like, oh, that is what came to my doorstep. I'm so excited. So this is really pretty in person. Um, it is very like I don't know, it's kind of like those grungy dreams that I've been wanting, and it even looks more grungy in person. Why can't I take this thing off? Um, so I'm so excited to put this on the eyes. We're gonna do a fun look today. I think what I'm gonna do is something green because I feel like a lot of you out there have wanted a green Natasha Denona palette. So let's go green. Let's do something fun and green, and let's just start playing right now. Let's just go for it because I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got a life. <laughs> no, I have to pick up my daughter at school. So let's see. Let's start off with the color Valley. Let's put that all over the lid. Kind of like in the crease. Let's do the crease. Let's do the crease. Ooh. So that's a really pretty transitional color. This is looking like, I think this is such a fall palette. Like this is so fall to me. I love it. Okay, so that is a really pretty color. It looks kind of like a bronzed, kind of like brownish tone, a little bit more orangey. I like that. Okay, so let's do, what do I want to do next? Let's let's just kind of like put a green all over the lid. Oh, and then I have to play with this color. <gasps> That's screaming to me. This is a lot more green than I thought it was going to be. Let's get Asiya. I wonder if anybody has had reviews on this up. I'm sure everybody's already posting their reviews because I did, um, I guess, get to it pretty late because I got it Saturday and today's Monday, but I haven't seen any reviews yet, but so far, I like those two colors. They're very like dusky, which I do enjoy. Let's grab this color. Let's try Kal Kalathea. 
That was like a... Ooh. I love the way I can never pronounce any of Natasha Denona's like names in her palettes. I feel like it's blending pretty good. I mean, first nat, it was like my first trial at it. So of course I'm gonna be doing a five day challenge, which I have my Pat McGrath five day challenge ready to go. That one's coming. Ooh, look at that color. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. The color is beautiful. This one kind of reminds me of a color in Trio Chrome. We're gonna have to compare. Oh, I like that. Okay, then let's grab Chrome Chromebia. They almost look the same, only a little bit more champagne-y. Oh, that's so pretty. Some more of this, Asia, Aka. Akaka? Akaka? Akakia? I don't know. Let's blend everything out. Now I didn't buy any of her new eyeliners because I honestly just didn't like the colors. Like one was like a dark green and like the other one was yellow. And I was like, I'm never going to use those. So I just stuck to my regular Natasha Denona eyeliners that come in brown or black. So we did not go for those eyeliners because they're just not my colors, but I do love her formula. So if you like those colors, you'll probably like the formula. That looks really pretty. So let's lower lash line, tight line with this. And actually let's grab some of this color here. Tip, tip, tip you. That's pretty. I like that. Ooh, let's grab a little bit of this TPU color. Kind of like it's like a, a pukey green. Ooh, I like this. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off. Eyeliner, mascara, do the other eye, vamp this up, put some lipstick on. I know it's gonna change up the look, but I'm excited. Okay, we are finished. Here is the final look. Check out those eyes. <gasps> Who's here? That's kind of incredible. I really, really, really like um, I really like this. It looks really, really good. So I'm actually really, really excited with this palette. I feel like it blended really well. I do like the colors. I actually like the colors more in person than even in my Make Up Your Mind because I feel like they were even, I don't know, they were even grungier than I could ever dream of. So I'm really, really excited about that. And check out those eyes. My lip combination is actually mixing two of Natasha Denona's lipsticks. It's Kala and peony mixed together on the lips. So that's how I came up with this lipstick. And yeah, that's the eye look. What do you guys think? Now let's zoom out and I'll tell you what I think, but I think you know what I think. All right, so we are at the end of the video. You guys have seen everything about the Yuka palette that I can fit into this video. I really like it. I love the colors. I think it's beautiful. I'm actually happy that it's less bright than I was even anticipating. I'm actually happy because it's less bright than it looked like in the promo images. It has more of a grungy fall feel, which is what I was dying for. So like, this is like really in line with what I wanted from even retro. I feel like now retro glam is like the pastel -y version of Yuka, right? So like, these are both different, right? So they're very different palettes, but I feel like they are kind of like sisters. Like she's like the retro is like the fun day sister and like the Yuka is like the nighttime sister, you know? Like they have the same idea. This one goes in the pinky, more like fun. And you know, it actually looks more like retro. And then this one is like more dramatic. It's more fall and I'm obsessed. And I think it's really, really good. There is a few shades here that are a little bit different. Like this one here that has this creamy, consistency it's very very creamy i'm not sure if i'm going to love that shade let's be honest okay so i also was kind of looking for some dupes or like did natasha denona have anything like this in her line already i have to be honest i don't see much comparison i do think that there's some shades inside of metropolis but very very little like maybe even like these little grungy-ish greens you're gonna get something very similar but the colors are not identical like there's not much that I can say is like very, very, very spot on. And I do know that some of you guys wanted me to look in Trio Chrome because you thought that some of the mattes were in Trio Chrome. Trio, blah, blah, blah. You thought that. <laughs> you thought some of the mattes were in Trio Chrome. 
you thought some of the mattes were in trio chrome so let's look at that one because that's one of the ones most people were saying and i think you may be right on to something so camu camu which is this color right here is similar to the color ion and you're right the colors are similar they're not identical like one is a little bit lighter and one is a little bit deeper but they're similar then there is the color vert from trio chrome and the color citrine from yucca which are also very very close so yes you guys were on the money with that one and then um probably the color plurithium plurithium which is inside of the trio clone this one here and the color flushy flushy right these two they're similar not identical either but they have like that orangey kind of tone right so we've got those two swatching them here so you guys can see they're very close um those three yeah i would say you probably have something pretty close inside of your trio chrome the metallic green though that i thought was going to be similar to makaya or whatever is not it's like a trio chrome versus just a beautiful metallic if anything i think pat mcgrath might have something more similar to that green but yeah there's like maybe three shades that i would say is probably a matte that's inside trio chrome so you guys were right about that um but other than that i think you can find a few little shades inside of metropolis but none of her palettes in my opinion are like spot on similar to this um yeah they're not spot on similar because even if you talk about the mattes that are inside trio chrome trio chrome is a very different palette so yeah you might have three of those shades but the direction that you go in this palette is not similar to what you go when you use the yucca one if anything you probably could create more similar you looks using um, metropolis but even that is not like spot on so i have to say i like this i think it's a beautiful palette i'm going to be doing a five day challenge where i'll be using this palette for five days straight to give it to you guys straight and to like really try it out and see what else i can do with it but other than that i really like it i think it's beautiful it blended really well there's maybe two shades in here that i really want to play with a little bit more being actually the creamy shades which i usually don't love her creamy formula it's just i like the dusty regular mattes better but yeah that's about it so i want to know from you guys did you try this palette did you like it leave those comments down below I want to know all your thoughts, share with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.